Yo, what's up guys? It's Yellowfin, and in this video, I'm going to be joining the Janetta G58 um, prelims. And we're going to see how I can do. The hand isn't bad. Maxed out Mazda Furai, 233. Maxed out Infinity Q60 Black S, 332. A 112 Porsche Cayman. A um, 332 Holden Effigy. And a 233 Suzuki C2. Now, what I was going to use was this, the TZ3 Stradale, which I'm currently maxing out because I'm trying to win that legendary challenge. I did not realize I was going to get that far, so I didn't even record any of it, which is kind of silly. But I'm currently on, yeah, round 22, and these other rounds i pretty sure I can beat. I just need to upgrade this TZ3 Stradale first, so hopefully I can beat that. That would be pretty cool, but right now we're going to play the Janetta G58 event. So we're going to go back to the old hand, which isn't as great, but still isn't bad, which is this. And let's just jump right on into it and just go for the first guy. Why not? So first race and there's two dirts. I did not realize there was two dirts. Okay, well, that's going to go there. I guess we go win, loss and loss. I didn't realize there was two dirts for this track set, but that's fine. Don't want to lose too much to the Hummer HX. Hopefully our Suzuki will be fine on the other race. 90 points here from the Holden to Fiji. Here now, hopefully we don't lose too much. Yeah, only 57. That's perfectly fine. I am totally cool with losing only 57 points. The Mazda Furai wins here with 50. And then right here, the Infinity will lose by 50. Perfect. Oh, and now I'm yawning. Into 73rd place, though. Which is not bad. Um, so we got a test bowl. Hairpin. See, there's two dirts again. Was there two dirts this whole time? I mean, Dockyard Alternative Circuit isn't that much dirt. But still, like, I don't remember there being two dirts, really. Okay. So, I mean, we really can beat... Or wait, can we beat? Yeah, we can beat this guy. So we can really beat everybody that we're like going up against. But let's go for the three star right here. I believe this would be a three star. So let's go for the three star. Win, 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 and potential win. I believe I should win that. It's got twisties. I don't think a three three two spec would win that. Right? Yep. Two three three spec for the win. So there's 50, then this one should be a good win. 51, okay, not much of a good win, but it was a win, so we can be happy with that. 89 points there from the Furai. Then here, yep, 50 points. And then this last one will be a decent amount of points, I bet. Yep, 89, pretty solid, nice three-star win right there. Bumps us into 61st. Nothing special from those cards. Okay, this one... Doesn't look bad. That looks beatable as well. We're just going to tank a loss for the first race. So we tank that, win that, win that, and tie there. But then we should also win that Monaco hairpin. So probably only 50 would be my guess too. Yeah, only 50. See, the Holden Effigy, I'm so happy I got this car. I maxed it out like immediately. Usually it takes me forever to max out an ultra rare, but once I pulled this car, it was like an instant max pretty much. Like I actually just went out of my way to max it out, which honestly does not happen with very many ultra rares in my garage because they usually sit there for a while until I need to use them. I still have some good ones that I need to max out that have just been sitting there stock. And so then right here is another 50 point win. You're like, I can show you guys real quick after we claim these two prizes, one and two. Oh, I got that Honda back. There we go, I just fused that one away. So that's cool. Um, we can sell those two, that Mazda will be fuse mat. Um, if we go to not unlocked, B status lock can be upgraded. See, that's a good one, this is a good one. Um, this is also a pretty decent one. Um, that's my second Xenos, but this Spiker is a good one. That's just sat stock, that would be a good one to max out. Um, the Geo Catalog Group B, that's a crazy good one. Still have not maxed that one out yet, but I'm kind of just waiting for it to get nerfed, honestly. Like, if it has still like 100 MRA after it's nerfed, then it might still be a good car. Well, then it will be a good car, but if they cut it to like 70, 
then there's no point in 3 3 2ing it, but it's not really that good at 2 3 3 either. So it wouldn't be like I missed out on much. Um, yeah, we can beat that guy. We got win, loss, win, win, and potential win, honestly, I'm not sure. I don't know the exact MRA on the Sidewinder. Not enough, though. The Holden Fiji wins. That is surprising. I was actually not expecting that. Then we got 50 points here from the Suzuki. And then a 50-point win here against the Chevy. And then a 50-point win here, I'd assume. Yep, 50 against the Peugeot Axia. And then this will be a 50-point loss. Yep, 50-point loss. Two more cards. So let's get that other rare, the Holden. That is not the Holden. Those are two commons. I guess I don't have that Peugeot, so I'll keep it. Uh, let's see, this guy, he's got two off-roaders. He's got one off-roader and a four-wheel drive, but he's actually got a pretty solid off-roader and a maxed-out Furai. So let's not go for that guy. He's got one off-roader, a non-maxed-out Furai, and a mediocre hairpin road car. But... I don't know if I can beat his mediocre hairpin road car, though, with my also kind of mediocre hairpin road car. He's also running two off-roaders. 323 to his TRX. Okay, that's interesting. There's a lot of people running two off-roaders, actually. That's interesting. And it's really just one track that's an off-road track. I mean, I guess since the Porsche has, like, performance car stats, too... So it's not really like it's got bad stats. Um, then we'll just hope to win that. We'll lose that. And we'll probably lose that. I doubt the 233 spec will win on the off-road. Yeah, it did not. We don't have that engine traction bonus. But hopefully we don't lose this by too much. Only 54, that's fine. So it really just comes down to the infinity on the last race. Because this will be a win. Only by 50 though. Yep, because we do not have engine traction bonus. That Mazda 2 rally does. This is 50 points, and now it really all just comes down to this. So let's see. The Infinity is staying in the lead. Not bad. And it does. It takes it at the end. That's good. Did stay in the lead and took it. So, very nice. 5-0. and oh, Definitely just going to end up with a ceramic. Honestly, I could drop for the MX-5 Speedster. Since I don't have, I think that's what I will do. I think I'll drop for the Mazda MX-5 because there's no chance of getting a carbon with my hand. But I do need that Mazda Miata because I already have the Mazda Taiki. But the Mazda Miata, I am missing. So I will go for that, looks like. So it hey, won't be too big of a fail, honestly, because I'll be getting a new car. So that'll be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this type of content, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, join the Discord, link in the description. I'm Yellowfin. Thanks for watching and goodbye.